If I was a rainbow, I'd show my colors for you. And if I was a songbird, I'd sing my song for you. And if you take the sun and the moon, and take away the stars at night, your faith. Such a miracle that you would give up heaven just for me. And all I want to do is fall more in love with you. This world doesn't own me anymore. And one thing. Take the sun and the moon, and take away the stars at night. Your faithful word will always be my light. So beautiful, such a miracle that you would give up heaven. Your love. 
was too much for my heart to contain. Joy too much for my feet won't refrain. So I dance like the rain on the roof. Tell my soul that my spirit's on the move. Don't know if anyone will understand. Feels like an angel's got a hold of my all over the world we want to welcome you in our very powerful sunday service where we're having a powerful word of god breaking generational limitation today my name is pastor lawrence i want to welcome you all the way from the city of nakuru and as you join us in our service as we proceed kindly keep tuned as you watch this program and the lord will bless you today i want us all of us church as you put your hand together and welcome our views who are watching us all over the world please put your hand together and celebrate them in jesus precious name let's stand the book of Jer joshua chapter number 24 and our topic today is breaking a generational limitation breaking generational limitation the book of joshua chapter number 24 where we are going to read from verse number one all the way there are long verses but emphasis is in verse number 15 joshua chapter number four the bible says and joshua assembled all the tribes of israel at shechem and he summoned the elders and the leaders and the judges and officials of Israel and presented themselves before God. Joshua said to all the people, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. Long ago, your fathers, including Terah, the father of Abraham, now lived beyond the rivers and worshipped other gods. But I took your father Abraham from the land beyond the river, led him through the Canaan, and gave him many descendants. I gave him Isaac, and to Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau. And I signed the hill country to Isaiah to Esau, but Jacob and his sons went down to Egypt. Then I sent Moses and Harun, and afflicted the Egyptian by what I did there. I brought you out when I was brought out your fathers out of Egypt you came to the sea and the Egyptians pursued them with chariots and horses as far as the Red Sea but they cried to the Lord for help and he put darkness between you and the Egyptian he brought the sea over them and covered them you saw with your own eyes what I did the Egyptian then you lived in the desert as for a long time I brought you to the land of Amorites who lived east of the Jordan and they fought against you but I gave them into your hands. I destroyed them from their land. Then Barak the son of Zippor, the king of Moab prepared to fight against Israel. He sent Baram the son of Baal to put a curse on you but I will not listen to Baram so he blessed you again and again and delivered you out of his land. Then you crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho. The citizen of Jericho fought against you. As did the Amorites and the Perushites and the Canaanites and the Hittites, the Girishites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. But I kept them into your hands. I sent the hornet ahead of you which drove them out before you. Also the Amorites, the kings, you did not do it with your own sword and bow. So I gave you a land on which you did not toil and the cities you did not build. You lived in them and eat from the vineyard olive groves that you did not plant. Now fear the Lord and serve him with all their faithfulness. Throw away the gods of your forefathers. Worship beyond the rivers and in Egypt and serve the Lord. But in the serving the Lord seems undesirable to you. Then choose yourself this day whom you will serve whether the gods of your forefathers served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living but for me and my house we will serve the Lord and the people answered far be it for us for the sake of the Lord to serve other gods. It was the Lord our God himself who brought us and our fathers up out of Egypt and the land of slavery. And he performed great signs and before our eyes. He protected us and the entire journey among all the nations throughout which we traveled. 
and he drove out before us all the nations, including the Amorites who lived in the land. We too will serve the Lord because he is our God. Can we kindly all of us read verses number 15? Water to some verses number 15. All of us. One, two, three. Let's go. Can you read it aloud kindly if you can? Able to some kosauti. One, two, three, go. Please touch yourself like this. Me and my house. Please talk loudly. Say me and my house. Say me and my generation. I will live to serve the Lord. I forsake every other God. From any of our forefathers. In Jesus name. Somebody say amen. Put your hand together and celebrate the Lord with a mighty hand of praise. Well, this morning, or this afternoon rather, sorry, I have a message that I want to preach to you and I call Breaking Generational Limitation. Generational Limitation. What is the first term that I call limitation? I talk about the limitation. I want to speak about what is becoming a greatest barrier of our progress that we desire every one of us when people come to church every Sunday people join new churches people come to the new congregation a new fellowship they have expectations that are beyond praise the Lord when you come to a church when you come to a congregation even when you see somebody moving from one church to another church even when you see people changing allegiances pastors friends that gives you an opportunity and they says i am going with the expectation praise the lord the expectation of every the bible says and the expectation of a righteous man shall not be cut off in other words every one of us has a desire none of us who does not have a desire that he want to be fulfilled personally i have the greatest desire apart from serving god and doing his work i want to imagine that god will give me the ability as an individual as lawrence raise an altar in the heart of the city of nakuru praise the lord that is my desire it is not for my personal interest it is not for my children interest but it is for the interest of the kingdom that God will give me an opportunity that I will raise an altar even the children of my children's children one day they will refer and say this is what our fathers left for us praise the Lord you can imagine a family like the Kirimas who are fighting for properties if they had the church a place they had built a sanctuary for God I am sure they could not be fighting up to date praise the Lord but people fight because they have no ability at all and I want to tell you my friends one again when I sit down every day I meditate I think about myself I think about my future I think also about my past where I came from yesterday we had a function and in this function where I was I happened to be more like um, I was doubling as a master of ceremony at the same time I was uh, adding up as a guest and I was given an opportunity to give a speech and it happened that there are people who knew me when I was a boy where I was coming from my village the people who have seen me grow the people who saw me without shoes 
the people saw my feet invested with triggers and it's real the guys who could make me one of the guys i remember he was there i call him Jogo. the man who gave me one day kachapati nikaona kama mbingu imefunguka and he saw me yesterday and he came straight to where i was because i was in that function it was a big function there were many people in that meeting so he came straight to me and he addressed me with respect not then Jogu, who I used to work in his place, he gives me kachapati for mercy. And one word the guy said, I can now believe, and I believe God, that God changes people. If God has changed Lawrence, I am sure God will change anybody under the face of the earth. Banejo Suiza. A man came straight to me and they say like that. And our second incident was one of the pastors that I was with him many years ago, around 14 years ago, 1998. The man knew me as a hawker, a hopeless man, a man that was no future, a guy who taught at many instances. One day I walked in his place. The man could not allow me to step in his house. He's a pastor. Let me tell you, human beings are the same. Whether they are pastors, whether they are congregation, ordinary members, until God comes to their heart. Praise the Lord. Until God touches the heart of a man. The guy was with we were with him yesterday. And the man opened up and says, For the first time, I do not know Lawrence. You cannot only speak this is how you have grown this is how god has grown you but there's one thing that i've always told myself it comes to a time for a man you make up your mind that you must break every generational because there are things of the family and they are very good and they are desirable and they look african but it comes to a committed and a determined man that to break that limitation to start a new chapter in jesus name you cannot break the limitation and the joshua summoned the elders he summoned what i said he summoned who one of the greatest difficult people that who does not understand about cultural change are who? I. I mean, one of the greatest people who does not change who does not change their mind at one level. I had a pastor, a man who loved God so much. The man was a committed member of Bishop Doctor War, the prophet very committed the daughter was engaged by a man who was a luo the man is a kissy from somewhere they call manga somewhere i don't understand where manga scheme i've never been there i don't know but i was calling for counseling to talk to the woman the man is a committed a repentant man a guy is a serious repenter is every day in dr worry's meeting the guy is repenting every day but now when it came the time of marriage the daughter wanted to get married by that guy i want to talk about cultural limitation that we are people in the church but they have never broken their culture praise the lord what is the suicide how about to go to how about to go to nakara to upper kenyaji kenyaji lakini wapatia watu muda this alikuja akamwambia msichana wake akamwambia huyo mzee ni muombezi yani sijui uombezi anaomba ni aina gani lakini ni mtoba mwenye toba mkubwa wa daktari za rector in the in the in the tigaton akamwambia msichana wake because i remember one pastor pastor there's a pastor friend of mine who called me for the session of counseling na akawa ananiuliza pastor lawrence what can we do about this case what do we do with this case? I can yambia kuringana na baba yake. Wase wakwao walikubaliana watu wakwao wasiwai yoana na wajaluo. My 
have is the witness. We had a woman of God, a woman of God born again. But the story we had, anasema, kulingana na wa wamependa mungu, suji mungu wanapenda nina gani, because God, nafikiri mungu ni wa ukabila. Mungu kuna mungu wa wajaluo, mungu wa wakikuyu, mungu wa masai, mungu wa waluya, sinikuwa libethi. Huyo mama, tuna, tuka msikilisa, anasema, walishambi wa kwao. Ya kwamba kulingana na wao katika klani yao hakuna kuolewa na ndorere ndorere ni nini eh? ndorere ni nini wawe makabira ma, 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 siya wakikuyu ndio ndorere so it is not about speaking in tongues it is about what about what Culture imitation, and because those are the highest demon, a satanic covenant. Kuna watu leo hivi hapa na wambi hapa kwa hii church. Who does not even want to be preached, want to be pastored by Lawrence simply because where I come from. And I will tell you, I have their own list, and I know them. Some of them they are spoken out. When some discovered from where I come from. They developed what they call the cold feet. When they were very... I was... And let me tell you the truth. Breaking the culture. Mandiko nasema kwamba and Joshua summoned who? I said summoned who? Who negotiated the dowry? Now, what do you want to negotiate the dowry negotiation? Please, ongana mimi. Ni akina nani wananifanya dawari negotiation? Ni akina nani wanakuja kusolve marriage disputes? Ni akina nani wanawekanga mipaka? Ai. Ni akina nani wanawekanga mipaka? Elders. Why? Because elders are the one that are put what you call delimitation. When we were in, in Taita, Tunaambiwa wa Taita wase kuna wasagara wa Dawida na wa Taveta these are three sub tribes within Taita Taveta county so tukaambiwa hawa watu wakati walipokuwa wamekufa wazee walipokufa walichukuliwa wakakatwa vichwa wakazikwa katika milima ya Sagara hiyo vichwa zipo hata tu kati ya poso mwazili wanaweka re, e, hii masi ya radio kwa mulima hiyo wa sagara moja walikutana unaonesho nuambia wa wase hawa wase ndiyo wana wamezikwa hivi wameachiwa hii to eyes ndiyo tuna they are watching over the city si ndiyo kaja kina jackson ya wa masai mtu anakujaka anakuja anajifanyaka sasa mini masai na ubiri anakuja anaweka anaweka reso anaweka eh, slippers hile inaita hile Ida kara, ugo walita kirikiri, ugo ugo walita ka kwa nini walikuwa naita kirikiri? Arabu amebaka hivyo, yangu anasema ni culture, hata kanisa wanakuja, hee, mpasa hii anakuja kutuimbia. We don't want a Masai, we want a Christian. As we want a, we don't want a Masai, we want a Christian. That's why, that church does not change. People come in the pulpit. Unasikia watu zema, na wakikui wanaja kuiba, wanaja kuiba pesa, wanaokoka. Nani ya likuambia wakikui ni waizi wote? If one kikui is a thief, wacha luo wanaja kurusha mawe, uwe umayurusha mawe? Wakikisi wanaja kufuta banki, uliona ni kifuta banki siku moja hapa? Kuna misiki zingina sikimbo hapa hivi, ni vila tusa ingine, nakawa kuchuka microphone kwa wamune wambie, please if you are missing music to sing to people, sit down and get your fact right. They are defeating limitation. That's why even when someone, a sister can meet a man in a church and they want to get married, but they want to get married, the first question the parent asks, Anatoka wapi? How does he kazi yani anafanya? Anafanya ni? Uki muambia anatoka na akuru. Mana wanajua na akuru wakikunyu wako. Ni mukikunyu? Apana. Tunakaa na akuru. Hata amenunua nyumba amejenga na akuru. Hama amini kunuliwa nyumba kujengwa na akuru. Kwao ni wapi? 
Hai. Si wanaulizaga hivyo? Kwa ni nini? Si kwa umenua nyumba na kuru umejenga masinde kwenu ni wapi? Ukimaliza kusema kwetu ni kitale ama bungoma au muluya. Alright. So the belief that those limitation are not there. So maandiko inasema and Joshua because why? Maandiko inasema kwamba even as they were progressing, they saw God. Mungu anatenda miujiza. Mungu amefungua bahari ya Shamu. Joshua akawakumbusha akawaambia it is God who opened the Red Sea and you saw how you passed. It is God who defeated your enemies in the wilderness. So it says so. Maandiko inasema kwamba it is God who protected you even from the enemy in the wilderness. But the Bible says these people they never even believed hamkuona hata hapa saini hata hapa unakuja unaambia mtu kwamba leo ile tunaenda culture limitation angalia mtu wako hapa hivi na ameokoka saa this dispensation tunaambia mtu waachana na majina ya kwenu kuitana watoto majina yasiyofaa lakini because of the limitation mtu anakuja anakuambia huyu anaitwa favor kama u so what have you met? Oh, you are not blessed. Nyanjama. So what? Because if you trash where Nyanjama come from, the embassy is not who. The embassy is the Nyanjama, not even Veva. One man called me and one day I can summon. Akaniambia Lawrence. Naona safari hii unajifanyaga, unajificha ndio watu wasikujue wewe ni mkisi. Nikamuuliza so what? Ati kwa nini unajiita Lawrence Weaver? Nikamuuliza so what? Ati mtoto yako anaitwa nini? Tulienda hapa kuchukua birth certificate hapa hapa. Mtoto wangu ana jina yake kwetu, yake. That's an agreement we had with my wife before we got married. And even after we got married, we had an agreement one. And I told her and she is aware. Nikamwambia one thing my sister, it is stand and firm. We are not giving birth to a kisi, we are not giving birth to a mkikuyu. We are giving to a generation that is making a change of our time. Praise the Lord. If he has any problem, let him deal with God, not with our forefathers. If it's a direction, let him be directed by God himself. Praise the Lord. Not me. I have a lot of failure in my personal life. I have a lot of failure from where I come from. But one thing I want to be sure is that I want to raise a generation that has no connection from where I was born. Praise the Lord. When you declare that kind of war, people call you proud. They call you what? I said they call you what? When you refuse to attend some cultural mama, mana kuna watu leo hivi wamekosa kuja katika ibada kwa sababu wameitua kuna kuna nini ya ya nini naitua ya familia hile family gathering so najua mama shiru vile munapenda wakikuyu kikiwe kamuereto kamuereto kata kujaka siku gani sini sunday munakabebaka sana siyo saturday and you think you are doing God a favor you are not doing God a favor. You must decide. Joshua akawambia ya kwamba sasa waze akawaita waze, akawaita waamusi, akawaita na viongosi akawambia tumengangana pamoja na nyinyi katika jangu na tunabaulisha kila usiku ya kwamba itakuwaje you must break the limitation praise the Lord. You must make sure that you will stand for the position that you hold forever. Amen. Niliambia wachana Nairobi nikamwambia if your father want to reject a man because he's born again and he's not from his tribe come and I join you that marriage. That cause will never catch your children. Amen. Na niko nasema let us respect our parent in what? Tuwaheshimu wazazi wetu katika bwa. I say katika nini? Kuna wakikuyu wanaogopa kiza mtoto lea zipumuita baba ya buwana yake ama ya mama yake. Jameni hiyo inakuwa ni kesi. Wase wanaitu wa muji kudeside. Wanasema hapa kumetokea setani. Ama? Aya, aya, aya. Sindi wa esta. Uzaa hivi ukataye kuita mama ya buwana yako. Ya 
Yaani wewe si ndio ndio hospitali. Waambie nurse sister andike majina. Asiandike Sipora wa Mboi. Andika tu waambie eh, hata kama sio Sipora waambie uandike tu vile tuliambia tuliita mtoto wa Somongi Gracious nini? Tukisahau kidogo kumbe amekuja amekuja na chipichiri chiri chiri ya macherono. Ni nini? Na mpaka tuliana mpaka hospitali, tukaenda mpaka tukapeana jina, tulipopeana jina kwa hospitali, si ulikuwa huko. Si tulikuwa huko. Esa si ulienda hospitali. Maana mtoto ni wa kimiujiza, mtoto ameombewa, ameongojwa na Mungu, usiwahi danganywa kabisa eti watu waliona Mungu maja kwa maja na miujiza amewachendea, wanaweza muogopa Mungu. Hiyo siku hii kujalisha. Mimi ninaamini mama Lilian mana moyo wangu wote na ile najua na kila mhubiri anasema juzi ni apostle alikuwa anasema kama watu wote wale ameombea miujiza na wamepona na wamepata miujiza kama wangekuwa ni washirika wa hiyo church hata wale wanakuja wangekuwa hapo Hakuna watu wanakuwa more frustrated Jackson as pastors who pray for people for miracles and that's why we must emphasize on the word I say we must emphasize on the word I say we must emphasize on the word. Si tulikuwa hapa tukampea mpaka jina tukangoja mtoto anataka kutoka tunamrudisha ukae mpaka siku yako ifike. Alipokuja siku hiyo kila mtu amenyenyekea, baba amenyenyekea, mama amenyenyekea, lakini akikuja town. Watu wa nyumbani walikuja. Ni vile walikuja kama jumuiya. Usimlikuwe kwa mkipika. Usicheze masinde, usicheze Usicheze kubreak culture. Joshua akasema, akasema jamini. Tumechoka na mumemuona Mungu. Na mkimuona Mungu ninataka pia mimi mfanye vile Mungu anavyotaka. Joshua karudi mpaka akasema, sasa fanyeni kile mngetamani. Kile kiko na kama mtaabudu. Angalia wakati wa harusi vile inakuaga. Pasa inakuaga na 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Culture ndiyo nyingi. Weka reso. Hey, Wamama wako kwa mrango. Hey, 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 leta reso, leta soda. Wase. Leta soda ya wamama. Hey, hey, hey. Ya itisho. Wairuku itisho soda ya wamama. Ya wase. Ya nini? Soda ya wase. Wamama wa nini? Mama wakupika na ma, ma anti zake Yani mashaitani ya anti yake You must collect them before you disappear Don't think they are, they are intended for good Shiro sikuila na olewa mama Okiwa muerefu Kuna vitu takata Because when you look at the antis They are not even pleasing But they say Ati mutoto ni wa Culture Pasa na kaga spectator Baba una pasta moja alisema tafadhali nachelewa. Pasta ambia watu wako hapo nje watoe eh, mlango imefungwa mlango. Fungua mlango na pesa. Fungua mlango. Eh, fungua mlango. Nashukuru Mungu mimi kule nilioa. Hiyo vitu yote ilipoteaka tu mbira Mungu kujua. Yaani Niliuza siku moja pesa ya ya ya, ya wazee wa soda. Siji wazee ati pesa ya wazee. Kumbe wanaenda kukunywa pombe. Inaitua wase wengine wakuwa na mapepo mapepo majini majini Hata wale wagi Hata watakai kuchua Nyinyi mumeokoka Tena wanaongea vibaya vibaya Tunajua wei ni pasta lakini nyamanza Mali hapa uonge Siku moja tunaenda kwa kere muka wangu Siju nani ya hula alisema Nani ya alisema siku hile Tukiwa hapa kwa ofisi tukiku plan plan Anasema unajua wewe Unatekana unyamanze upangwe Nikasema ni pangwe my life Aaaa that one you know that I'm a serious guy. I don't. Who pla? Who? Nani adani panga? Ati we una nyamazaga? Watu anongea? Nani anongea? Mindi ona marisa kuongea na mindi ona. Ni ni muongea pa katikati. Bana hizo asweza. Usi ni ona gei mama dia mi ni mujeuli. Ati muni panga ati we una manda upango na base. Mi mi dio muse na mi mi dio kira kitu. Nani wana ni panga? Because some, they invite some ungodly culture that they are going to destroy your future. Praise the Lord. You must be strong. Breaking the culture limitation. Praise the Lord. Kuna culture zingine waze wengine waza mani. Ulisikia sikile pozo kanali ya kituambia. Waze wakwao, waliposikia watu wawa meenda kuwawa Egypt wali wali wali. 
wazee wa mji wa klani zao walishikana ulisikia ile story wakashikana wakasema nini mtoto wao asiwahi enda anywhere hata wacha hivyo hata Kenya na Nairobi hata asijaribu kwenda hata nje ya Mumias akasema they are pastors who are powerful unaniona lakini and in my, in this one man i remember one great preacher alikuwa anaitwa Reverend Dan Odiambo by the way the man was dynamic a powerful preacher of the word of god sisi kama kuna mtu anamjua hapa alikuwa anaitoka Reverend Dan Odiambo a powerful man but do you know Reverend Dan Odiambo even Tanzania he never reached until he died sio rais mama sio rais lazima uvunje cultural limitation lazima uvunje kuna wengine wanakuambia akuolewi mbali kama ni wakiambu unaambiwa wewe wadhie kwa nyeri eh ukora kufanya nini nyeri watu wa waolewagi sasa mnaoanaga kiambu hapa hivi mwashadha naitwa aje pale remuru na wapi ndumberi banana mnazungukanaga hapo hivi na kumbe watu ndio mtu anaulizaga kwa nini majamba yote madheri mamama wote wanatokaga kiambu hapo hivi kumbe mbegu ile ya madheri ngambo ile ilikuja hapa banana sasa inazungukaga inatupiana ngambo ile maana hata ukitafuta waisi utawakuta wako klani moja kuna klani ya mapasta si ni kweli ai si kuna klani ya mapasta hata hii yenye inaitwa atikalikali wa mashiro hii ya kabete ati wa mama wakali wa kabete ni ukweli ama ni uongo si ukweli kabete yote iko wenye wamekaa na wamesurvive dunia hii kwani kabete ya kuolewi wa mama iko mmoja alikuwa mama amefunga vizuri alikuwa mshirika mzuri wa Mori Seruro lakini huyo mama akikashirika wanapiga na bwana alikuwa mmeru mama alikuwa huyo mkabete hawaachani mpaka alikuwa anauliza si muachane mtauana hawaachani sitoki wanapigana mpaka yani wanaka kama zile kuku zina zinaumanaga mpaka zina zina relax na ngoja mwenye atapata nguvu aanze tena na si ukweli it is a culture unakuta kwamba kuna mzee ambaye alikuwa na mapepo akasema wasichana wetu wasifanye nini wasiende mbali maana kuna mwenye aliendaga mbali hakurudi ama akakufia njiani akirudi kuja si ni kweli sasa wazee walipokutana when they met they made a decision wakasema watoto wetu wasiolewe wapi so wanaoanaga wapi angalia uliza jackson akwambie juu ya klani za kwa huyu ni musomi ni mukristo lakini wakati wamekaa chuki group hey wabruku wabruku musonic mtu musonic sema ukweli jack Sidi kwa Jackson. Hawa yani ni msomi. Jackson amesoma, ako na masters, hiyo imusaidi. Kile kinamsaidia wasee wamesema, yani vile hata unafikiria hawa kikui wote wamevotia huru Kenyatta, kwani walikuja kuuliza pasta. Wangeuliza pasta singesema tukusupportie Peter Kenneth. Waliulizaga pasta ama waliuliza wazee? Ni rangu, waliuliza unafikiri nani? Hata wakati watu wakitafutaga kura Watu wanatafutua kwa mfano kama hii town wakati Kinuthi ya Mbuu anatafuta kura hapa town alitafuta alitafuta wazee wa Wakisi, wa Baluya, wa Jaluo, wa Kikale na nini? Hakutafuta vijana. Vijana wako na liberal mind. Kijana anaenda mpaka anavutia Dida, anasema m, mm, wacha nijaribu fresh. And these boys are good. Yani young people are too smart. Sasa unaona mtu akichelewa kuoa, hata ukifika miaka 40 hujaoa, si wanatafutanga tu kimama kingine kutoka karibu na kwenu, ngambo ile ingine wanajua mwenye alikufiwa, wanakubebea wanakupatia official, si ni kweli? Aia. Lakini ukiwa barubaru, unatokea hapa Kenya, unakaa kwa mbada ya Tanzania na Kenya, na unakuta msichana mmoja ni Tanzania labda ndiye amefika mara ya kwanza hapo na manga, unamtongoza kumbe kwao ni Mbeya. Na ukipata ni Mbeya, Mbeya ni mpaka wa Tanzania na Malawi. Kumbe wasasi ni wa Malawi, wengine ni wa Tanzania. So you are broken. Wengine hata kuna wakuyu unauliza tuliana umoja huko juu arusi inafanywa yani ndoa inafanywa mama anauliza ati sasa mnaniletea ndo orere ndaongea lugha gani kwani unaenda kuongea na nyanya yako si unaongea na bwana yako 
Bana hizo siwe sana. Mimi nilikuwa naongea jaga nyanya yangu kisungu. Ananiangalia hivi na meno iko tu imekula tumbaku. Eh. Siko nilikuwa mdogo nimetoka kisungu niko fresh hata sijui nini inaendelea duniani. Sijui hata kiksi sijui dini. Mama yangu ameleta mimi kijaluo nilikataa kama shetani. My brothers wote waliongea. Nilikuwa nasikia kijaluo nikifika kwa duka niambia eh Edward ango Ai na kashirika naruna ambia mamu Ai watu ni wajinga sana Hata siyo wanaongea Mi siendi yoduka Tafuta yoduka enye hiko na akiri Na imagine siendi I hated Masini sijui Nataka deliverance Nilikuwa na sikia wakiwaka hivu Na kashirika naruna My brothers wote Kila mtu walikuwa naongea fluenti jaluo Anaongea hivi Yani walikuwa wanafanya kama moka Nisa ingine wanaongea Wote wakiwa wawiri wanarushiana kijaluo Zata Awangalia. Warabu nilipoleto mara ya kwanza home kwetu kijijini na pere kwa shule ya primary kuna fenakira. Mwalimu amekaa hapa kwa kona, amekaa na stuli. Munakuja, sahiyo ndio upite kwanda klasi wani mikono ukipitele musha hivi, hugusi masikio. Sasa mkono ni mfupi, we mwenye ni mfupi. Mwajaribu kugusa hivi, mwalimu wana kukashirikia. Siku ya wakwa na bad certificate. Bad certificate ni kutele musha mkono, hugusa. Mwalimu amekaa hapa na andrea kukuliza kiluga anakuja <laughs> ama ulikuulizwa hiyo vitu Nilikuwa na muangalia huyo mwalimu nikamwangalia hivi Usiweze ba nini Ananiuliza kiu kiluga yote hivi ati vernacular language nikamwangalia hivi Kabla mwalimu unatakaje sisikii unasema nini Anaambia kiru... sijui unasema nini mwalimu mmoja anaitwa Mr. Huko ndiye alikuja kumsaidia akamwambia huyo Uyo ni mcheuli, hata akijua wezi kujibu, we muambie vilo nataka. Haka niambia niandike majina kwa kiswahili. Na nikandika smart, faster. Kambia angalia hii, yaji. Haka achana na mimi. Breaking culture limitation. Culture what? I say culture what? I say culture what? Breaking is not an easy thing. Is not an easy thing. You get courage, you move out from your father's house, from your, your relatives, and even from your, your, your countryside. The Bible says, and God told Abraham, chapter 12 of Genesis, move out of your country, out of your relatives, and out of your father's house, and go to the place that I will show you, and in that land, I will bless you. Praise the Lord. And whoever curses you, I will curse you. Sahi hata, sahi tunakuwaka hapa tumeokoka, tumeokoka. Heee, wacha ifike za azire watu wanaendaka nyumbani kwao, wanaendaka desturi. Kama ni pasa unakuwa deserted, unahachu hapa peke yake umesimama kama muti. Nini ni naendere hapa? Hata ule mshirika umetoka nae hapa hivi. Ni encourage me, nambia, well relax, fumiria tupasa, mpae kiti ya kae. People don't know. The Bible says, and Joshua said, you can do what you want. Imagine these are the Jews. These are the Hebrews. These are the people of God. But still they are subscribing into their forefathers. Mtu ameokoka. Anatoa mtoto na kuru hii. Anapereka nyumbani toara. Wakati wa toara. Na mediko hiko hapa mbaka inasaka msaizi watoto. Ninini unaheza ya reza hiyo uweru? Mututu anatoa mututu hapa. Baka za BCA imejaribu kufanya ambinu zingine. Kujaribu kuwaoneja ni kama ni culture, kama si culture. Watoto vijana wanakuja rika pamoja. Manaitiwa daktari anakuja kuwatairi wakiwa hapa pamoja. Na unaona mtoto wakitairi wakimaliza. Ndiyo juwe siyo ya ukweli. Wanamaliza wakitairi wakati wamekaa hapa wamepona. Wakirudi nyumbani. Sherei nafaya nini? Ah. Shere inafanywaje? Ama ifanyagi hivyo weru? Mtoto akisha maliza toara. Akirudi nyumani. Akikuja. Si shere inafanywa. Who told you that circumcision is, a, in, is an event? It's a cultural event. Jesus circumcised of the eighth day. But what did he do? Did he perform a culture? But because the elders of the city want to connect your soul with them. But we must break it in Jesus' name.
I said we must break them in Jesus name I said we must rise to break it in Jesus name some problems and sicknesses that we do have today that is eating people daily some of them they have not come as a result of the devil it has come as a result of idol worship without knowing Unaenda kama hiyo taita wazee wa muji wa sagara hao hao wameziko katika hiyo miti ya hiyo milima ya sagara hao wataita wote wamezikwa wasichana wa rembo na unajua vile wataita wanaweza tokea wa rembo lakini wewe hakuna msichana anapata mume wote wote wako town wanatembeaga hivi mpaka niko nauliza hakuna hata wako, hata wa kukutongoza si mbebe hii stock mpeleka hata western ikirudi darudi lakini culture maana wazee wa muji wana watch watoto wao wasiende mba you are becoming a prisoner of a culture it is prison because Taita Taveta county is number 3 in natural resources in the country but it's also number 2 in poverty index in this country Nyerere alifanya wa Tanzania ma slave akachukua watu akawapanda juu ya milima wa Tanzania wakafikiria kwamba ni kaja watu wako zima na uhai akachukua akawapanda katika mlima yeye na na Sheikh Abed Karume wakazika watu wako hai yule akachukua Msanziba na huyo akachukua Mtanganyika wakawazika wakiwa hai wakasema ni umoja wa Tanzania yani wasikubali mtu yote akuje kuwatenganisha hata mzungu saa ingine mzungu ni mzuri analeta ukristo analeta rasimali watu wanaendelea vizuri si wa South Africa walikuwa wana wanapupukwa wana vichaka ya gold mzungu akaona kila mtu kila mtu unaona vile vile mnakuwa huko reserve kila mtu anaendaga kwa kichaka yake mama anakimbia kwa ile kichaka na kajembe watoto huko ngambo ile wote wanafanya wanapupukwa kichaka mzungu akaria rais akasema hawa watu na hapa bwana pupuju ya gold mzungu akawatengenezea cho mbili ya mama na baba na watoto ngambo ile akaambia msipupukwe hiki kichaka wacha ni fieke ni lini mzungu akachimba akatoa dhahabu wao wanaendelea kukimbia kwa vichaka Nyerere anawaambia ati mungoja watoto wenu watakapokuwa wakubwa ndio wakuja kuchimba madini ya Tanzania. Leo hii watu wa South Africa ndio wanachimba madini ya Tanzania the best Tanzanites wanaendelea because of culture. Wanatuona saa hii ukienda Tanzania wanaonaga wa Kenya kama waishi. Kila saa Kenya za suspect. Let me tell you my friend, sometimes when you interact with other communities in a kupatega revelation my brother na unaelewa unanafahamu ni nini kina chuendelea katika maisha ako breaking the cultural limitation amen bwana yezo suwe san breaking the cultural limitation cultural limitation breaking it you are not marrying for a person Joshua said that this uh, from today you want to make up your mind what you are making up your mind to do for God will determine how far you are going I repeat my statement again. What you made up your mind today? Culture. And people don't even understand the limitation. Kuna jami, kuna jami, kama, si kuna jami iso, unonaga kama kwa mfano baba na anashona viyato, anashona viyato, anashona viyato, anahanza kufundisha mtoto wake kushona viyato. Mina ambia watu, kama baba angwa kekua hai na anashona viyato, na anahanza kunifundisha shitaki. Ingini unakata unakataa unatafuta kichaka yako unafufukia kivi yako lazima tufunje culture bwana yesu asiwe sana there are people they have limited god people they have never understood that god can bless even today people they have a culture even coming to church you only come to church ukiona mashida si watu wanajua kuna watu wanakuja katika kwa sababu na shida hata wakati ule umeokoka si watu wanakuulizana eh na ni shida gani masinde because they believe what on another reason you are going to do. I what you are going to do. I am 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 going to Shiro sikuira naolewa, unakaa kama kwani. Ukikaa hivi kienyeji. Shetani yule 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 tu, anakuwa kanafanyaka mazoezi. Mahali ulifikia kama ulifikia ukaza kutezo at 40 years. Mutoto ameolewa akiwa 30 years. Shetani ya naendelea kaibu, ya maa naanza. 
ukiona ule mama ni mrembo smart anadhaa kuwa bwana yake ukimtafuta vizuri ni mama yake ali huyo ni mtoto labda wa single mother ana baba ana mama a, yani ajui baba yake ni nani baba naona wanakuja kwa hiyo nyumba baba excess baba yellow baba blue baba sasa ajui jana tena wamereta mwingine anapiga simu kwa nation sijui kama kuna mtu aliwatch hiyo news kuna mtu aliwatch hiyo story na sio kweli ati wamama wake kuyo wanaua wa bwana wa bwana wengine wanakula changa waenda hapa hivi hapa hapa hapa, hapa moranga hapa uone vile wanajikojolea barabarani wako wanakaa kama watoto mvua inanyesha yako If I was a rainbow I'd show my colors for you And if I was a songbird I'd sing my song for you And if you take the sun and the moon And take away the stars at night Your faithful word always be my life beautiful such a miracle that you would give up heaven just for me and all I want to do is fall more in love with you This world doesn't own me anymore And One thing that I do know for sure That if I was a rainbow I'd show my colors for you Take the sun and the moon And take away the stars at night Your faithful word Will always be my life So beautiful Such a miracle That you would give up heaven just for me All I want to do is fall more in love with you This world doesn't own me anymore And one thing that I do know for sure That if I was a real Show my colors for you And if I was a songbird I'd sing my song for you And if you take the sun and the moon And take away the stars at night Your faithful word Will always be mine
your love's too much for my heart to contain. Joy too much, but my feet won't refrain. So I dance like the rain on the roof. Tell my soul that my spirit's on the loose. Don't know if anyone will understand. Feels like an angel's got a hold of my hand. So I dance. Song of praise and thankful tears fill my eyes. 'Cause your love's too much for my heart to contain. Joy too much, my feet won't refrain. 